Hey guys, Joey from First String Lawn Care here. Guys, we finally did it. We got to 500 subscribers, finally. <laughs> uh, I appreciate each and every person that subscribed. If you're watching this uh, video today, guys, we'd appreciate it. if you'd subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, what we do here is just give uh, everyday advice, how-to videos, uh, watching our business as as we grow and grow along with you, guys, I, I make videos to show you how we do things here so that you don't have to make the mistakes that, that I make as, as the business grows. Um, this, this channel is more for the, the new guy in the industry and somebody that's sitting out there thinking, God, I wish I would, you know, wish I just knew more about the lawn care business because I want to make that jump. Um, that's what our channel's about, guys. Uh, today, Let's talk about setting up your enclosed trailer for success and make it efficient. All right, let's talk about it. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to take you around the trailer. Uh, this video is just going to be about enclosed trailers. Uh, that's what we do here at First String Lawn Care. That's what we use. Now, I started out with an open trailer, and I had it set up uh, pretty efficient for what we did, and it worked. Um, the reason I switched to a trailer like this, I needed actually... I needed, I just needed a little bit more space um, for our uh, new mowers. And I also needed, uh, I needed more space as far as a place to work on the mowers and stuff like that. Cause you can see we're at a, a storage unit and I've got one storage unit and it's a 10 by 20. And between, you know, having to park the trailer inside there and I, I didn't have any room like if I wanted to do anything I had to pull the trailer out and I would rather have this trailer so I can keep everything in it and I can have my 10 by 20 storage unit uh, to do work and everything that I need to do you know and to store extra equipment uh, extra supplies and stuff like that so that's why we have an enclosed trailer uh, it's very important to have all like it, it's important to have everything you need with you when you're out. Um, and it's very important to, to make sure that your trailer is set up like for maximum efficiency. Um, now, there's things inside my trailer that could be better. I have stuff that's sitting in the floor that I know that they make racks for and stuff like that. But uh, right now, you know, it's it's set up it's set up just right for what what I need. So I'm gonna take you inside the trailer and give you a look. And but first, let's just walk around the outside of the trailer. All right, guys. If you're going to pull a trailer, now you don't have to. I mean, I don't suppose you have to have it. You know, with logos and and stuff like that. But it sure does help, guys. So our you know, I'm an Army veteran, so I have our flags on here. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram and YouTube, so I wanted those logos on there. That's a big part of my business. I, I invite all of our customers to go and check out our YouTube channel, our Facebook, because I don't want them to feel like we're hiding anything from them. I want to be an open book. Uh, I wanted to have our logo as big as possible and keep everything streamlined, simple. Want everybody to know we're licensed insured, have our website on there because that's where, honestly, our website is where we get most of our leads, uh, our number and everything, nice and big. Same thing on this side, guys. So that's the outside of the trailer. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, so when I pull up to a property, guys, now this has took me a little bit and I moved some things around. 
And like I said, they make holders for everything, but I don't feel like I really and truly need it because I don't want to spend any more money right now. So the first thing I do when I pull up to a property, guys, and what I want access to is my cones. So my cones have got a little spot right there, right there in the front. So we'll come in, get these cones, and we're setting them out. All right. Uh, we're going to do, you know, we always edge first. So I've got the edger. I just keep it right here. Uh, I, I did have, I don't have a three rack system. I just bought the two rack because when I first started, I was solo. And I never really honestly thought that I would have a helper because I was just going to be solo. But things change as you move, you know, through the years with your business. You know, ideas change, goals change, things like that. But like I said, they do make three rack systems. I could buy another one, but honestly, you know, I'm just, I just keep it right there in the floor. It's nothing, you know, it's not like it falls all over the place. It's, it's perfect right there where it is. It's out of the way. So we can come in, get the cones, get the edger, you know, and do that. Um, the edger goes up. We've got the weed eaters right here, right where we need them. So, and you know, once that weed eating's done, we can get those put up, uh, get the mowers, back those off. And we've got, you know, when you get done, you've got blowers right here, readily accessible. And I've got a cooler right there. If you notice, the cooler is right by the door. Take you out here. So if we need to get water or anything, it's right here. And um, if we need to do any push mower, which we don't, but at most properties, but if we had to have a push mower, I've got the push mower and it fits, it fits perfectly in this spot. I'm gonna take you around here and show you exactly how that's. So that push mower, if we need it, all we gotta do is pull it right out. It comes right out and I can get it right out without uh, without moving anything, guys. My hedge trimmers are just held on by a screw right here. That's, it's it's been here for, for a month now. I, I assume it's not gonna fall out. <clears throat> they just, uh, you can see it's just hangs right there. I made, uh, I actually made these. I made the uh, holder out of uh, just an old pallet that we had, and that works perfect to keep everything in there. You know, it doesn't, you know, everything's kind of moved around right now, but it does, it serves its purpose, guys. Now, they make tool racks and things like that that you can put in you know in these trailers I just don't want to spend the money right now uh, as soon as I you know feel like I can afford it or spend the money on it maybe I'll get um, maybe I'll get a rack system for my my hand tools but it's not necessary uh, this little uh, system right here <laughs> I got this at the ace hardware right across the street it's actually a uh, it's turned upside down. It's a shelving system. You know, it just you know you just plop it together. I screwed it to the wall upside down so it would have uh, lips, or else everything would fall off. Uh, you know, we've got our I've got everything that I need on here. You know, if in case something happens, we got our uh, our drills up here to change everything out. We've got extra. Uh, extra everything, you know, as far as uh, <clears throat> two cycle mix. We've got blades up there for the edger. Uh, we've got stuff in case we get a flat. We've got our grease guns. Which this actually should go up on the top. We've got our extra string right here, guys. It doesn't have to be super fancy to work. Uh, the most important thing 
in lawn care is just be efficient. And what you'll find is if you're not efficient, you're gonna be tired, super tired guys at the end of the day. And what I was talking with my helper yesterday, I was like, man, it's almost unfair sometimes because you know, uh, I was I was talking about how we were this time last year. You know, we had the open trailer, we were push mowing with two 30 inch mowers and switching to these stand on mowers and having everything in this trailer where we need it. You know, it's just less foot travel, less strain throughout the day. When it gets hot, guys, you need stuff to be where it needs to be. You don't need to be looking for stuff. I'm telling you, when you're out here in the heat, you just want everything to be as simple as it can be. And that would be my advice to any new guy or somebody that's out here thinking about getting into lawn care business. If you can afford in the beginning, you know, that's why I say this channel is for new guys and people who are coming into the business or thinking about coming into the business because I've made plenty of mistakes and it's because I wasn't efficient in the beginning as I could have been and I didn't know where or how to set up everything. You know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and stuff, but I didn't truly take the advice because I thought that, you know, hey, you know, I don't got the money to spend on this. You know, it could, it, this will work, that'll work, but there's always a better way to do something and being efficient when you're out here in the weather when it's that hot during the summer guys i'm telling you you're going to wish you're going to wish that you had everything set up uh in a super efficient way uh but yeah guys i mean this is how i got my trailer set up and it's always a work in progress and you know as i get more money and stuff coming in i may i may i may spring for a three rack system or or something like that but right now I just don't really feel like I need to but yeah guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up subscribe leave us a comment down below let me know what you think guys it's Joey from First Dream Lawn Care I'm out of here